Kate gives her first speech on Pakistan tour at SOS Children's Village. The SOS Children's Village, which is attached to a school, provides a home and family structure to over 150 young girls and boys, and promotes the development of children into happy, confident and resilient adults. William and Kate joined a birthday party for one of the children, which involved games, music and traditional Pakistani cakes, and the Duchess said a few words, her first speech of the five-day tour. They will later make a trip to the same cancer hospital visited by Diana in the year before her death. Earlier, the royals were given a red carpet welcome at Lahore airport as they met the city's governor. The SOS Children's Village provides a home and family structure to over 150 orphan children from babies to age 18, and promotes the development of them into happy, confident and resilient adults. Built over 10 acres, it started out with 15 family homes, to which another four have since been added. Touchingly, one of the homes was donated by a man called Muhammad Afzil, who grew up in the village and is now a successful Hong Kong-based businessman. He is one of a number of success stories, with children going on to become bankers, IT specialists, army officer, teachers, textile workers and government employees. The original site, the first to be built in Pakistan, had no provision for education, with children sent to outside schools. But it was quickly realized that the best possible adduction could only be offered by creating its own school on the site. The couple began by sitting in on a musical storytelling session and were given brightly colored finger puppets to play along with. It's very nice to be here, said William. My name is William. I am called William. How old you you? After asking each of the children's ages, he asked one little boy, How old do you think I am? 21, offered the child. I'll take 21, that's good. He laughed. I am a little bit older than that. Can you guess? I have my own children. A little boy called Louis and then there is Charlotte and then George, who is six. He's almost as old as you. The couple then went into a private meeting with seven children who live in one of the boarding houses and their house mother. Afterwards they were invited to celebrate three of the children's birthdays, Iman, 12, Ibrahim, 6 and eight-year-old Danyal by singing a rousing rendition of Happy Birthday and helping them to cut a cake. Kate began an address in a greeting in Urdu, before wishing the three youngsters a happy birthday. In her first speech of the tour the Duchess said, We've had such an amazing time walking around the village and learning all about your lives. We have been really moved and touched by what we have seen, and by the happy home you have made. I'm aware that many of you have experienced extremely difficult times in your lives. But it is inspiring to see how you have used your strength and positivity to help transform the lives of so many young children here. She continued, being here in Pakistan this week, William and I have seen on several occasions how family is at the heart of your culture. Parents, children, aunts, uncles, grandparents all play important roles. You have reminded us exactly what family means. You have shown us too that it is not simply a term that describes the relationship between blood relatives. Instead it describes those special bonds we share with those who make us feel safe and supported. It is the quality of those relationships that matters. Earlier this year I talked about the fact that it takes a village to raise a child. The village we have seen here today is the best representation of that ideal that I could have possibly imagined. Together as a village you are transforming children's lives and providing them with strong foundations to support all their families. You have created a home, where children are given the love, protection, and support that will enable them to have a fairer chance in life. Here, women who were once vulnerable, now play the most vital of roles as mothers and it is most heartening to see that you are not doing this alone. Iman who has been at the village for three years, said, It's very nice to meet the prince and princess. I am so happy and thankful to have them to celebrate my birthday. She added, her do was very good. Um, a Kashmir, 39, was left at the village at three months old and never knew her parents. 
I was here for 25 years and am now married with three children and I have done my PhD and lecture at University in Management Sciences, she said proudly. I never saw my parents and I never asked who they were. This was my family, they loved and cared for me. I didn't feel the need to find out. I was really delighted to be invited in to meet them. They seemed very impressed by what they saw here. It was an honor. William, accompanied by his wife, Kate, traveled from the capital Islamabad to the bustling city of Lahore today, where they will later make a trip to the Shawkat Khanum Memorial Cancer Hospital and Research Center. The couple were greeted this morning by officials and a posy of flowers before going into the airport terminal for a private meeting with the governor of Lahore, and the Duchess looked ethereal in ivory as she arrived. Kate, wearing a shawl work kameez by Gul Ahmed and a shawl by Mahim Khan, kept her husband, Prince William, waiting for a few moments before they stepped off their official RAF Voyager plane. The Duchess was also wearing Asprey's woodland oak leaf hoop earrings. 